Hello, welcome to Rod's Menagerie. Today I'm going to be working on a Sphero R2D2 that I have that I've had for years and the battery died and would no longer uh, hold a charge. So I've been looking for a replacement online, finally found one on Amazon. Uh, Sphero, for some reason, I don't know why, haven't actually looked it up and don't care to, but they no longer make this the droids, this one, the BB-8, etc. And so there's no battery support and you can't buy a new battery. So I had to go on a hunt and I found that on Amazon. So today we're going to be performing surgery to uh, install the new battery. Now it's time to perform surgery on R2 to get the back panel off to get the uh, battery, the new battery installed and usually start with the legs. Usually I, say that. I don't know any other way to do it, but these little side panels pop off. And I like to keep everything in its own little pile so that I, uh, in case there's a slight difference between the pieces, I don't have to guess what that is. There are four screws per leg. Uh, one large center screw, then uh, three out on the outside. And you do need to take out all four to loosen the legs. They just slide right off and uh, just leave them dangling by the wires. There's nothing to unplug and uh, just they'll be out of the way. Remove the two screws on the base and pop off the uh, plate on the bottom, set it aside. There are two plates on the back that need to be pried off and uh, set aside. And so just pop them off, then remove the screw under each one. There's only one per side. Now the back panel will pop off. Uh, I had to pry it a little bit and pull, but uh, it will come off and uh, just set it aside. The battery compartment is here. Uh, mine's empty because I had already pulled it out so I can try to track down the uh, replacement, but uh, you'll see yours there. And uh, it does have some adhesive on it. So it took a little prying and pulling to get it out. But uh, once you do, the new one's just going to slide right back in. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the connection off of the old battery. I'm making sure to leave enough. The old one had that much length on it. So I'm making sure to try to leave enough for the new one. Strip the protective sheath from the wires on both the battery and the connector so that uh, to prep them for soldering. I have the three wires exposed. Repeat for the connector. And this is a zoomed in view of the uh, exposed wires so you have an idea of what it should look like. I'm going to be putting heat shrink around the wiring to protect the soldering and protect the connections, cutting some to size to fit. And I slip one onto one of the wires and then connect. And then I actually am going to use electrical tape to hold my wires in place because I don't have the proper stuff and this will do. So let the surgery begin. So I am definitely a novice at soldering. I know enough to get the job done. And uh, this is definitely an example of getting the job done. But uh, as long as you make a good connection and uh, it'll last, then uh, you should be good to go. Slide the heat shrink over the wire and grab a heat source. I used a lighter because I had one. Some people use a heat gun. Hair dryer may do it, but I uh, had a lighter handy and it got the job done. Rinse repeat for the other two wires. My connections are complete and I want to go ahead and check voltage. If you don't have a voltmeter, you can go and just throw it into the droid and uh, see if it works. But uh, I have one, so I want to check. And my connections appear to be good and I'm showing proper voltage, so good to go. Before I reassemble, I'm just going to plug the battery in and do a quick uh, test with a USB cable to see if charging is happening. So I'm plugging in the uh, battery in now. And then uh, I will plug in a USB cord. Fortunately on this one, we have lights and it looks like we're gonna have a heartbeat. Good to go. As you can see, this battery is much smaller than the original and I wanna find a way to get this mounted securely. 
I have this felt adhesive I'm going to use because the battery is so much smaller. I need to wedge it in there. And it's just having something I have lying around the house. I uh, Anything should do, but uh, I'm just going to attach it to this. Like so. And then press it in there and it's it's holding. Time to plug the battery in and then run the wires over the top where the three little slots are. You can see the pegs in the uh, video, but um, my solder points were in an unfortunate spot. I was still able to get the back cover on, but just a little bit over, a little bit longer would have been much more helpful. I just wanted to point out while you're reassembling, uh, I'm ready to go now. These little side panels want to just fall right out. Just uh, be careful and make sure that they're in there as you push the back, get back into place. But uh, watch out for those and just uh, take the disassembly steps and reverse them. R2 is back together and now it's time for the good old app test. The app located didn't even, that's a good sign. Hit confirm and we are able to connect and time for some drive tests. Well, surgery appears to have been a success. R2 is happy. I'm happy. I uh, tested him out a little bit, as you've seen, and things seem to be working well. I will uh, put a link to this in the description for the battery I use. And other than that, thanks for watching.